Seems like another lifetime. But it was barely a month ago when we were all together at Joe Tesci's for old Carmine Coangelo's farewell. You know, Lulu, I've always considered your father one of the family. As far as the payment is concerned, I know you'll do your best. <laughs> there was my dear childhood friend, John the Prince Monaco. We're at this vet funeral out in uh, Charleston. John had a wooden leg, pure mahogany. He lost a leg and earned his royal title after a wild shootout protecting local mob boss Virgil Santos. Hey, we <laughs> Then there was Nino. Body's in a <laughs> Not the brightest bulb of the Christmas tree. You couldn't really call Nino stupid, but maybe a little numb. He got hooked on painkillers after a car accident. The problem was it wasn't his car, and it wasn't an accident. Except for the occasional insurance scam, Nino was really a clean-cut kid. He didn't smoke, drink, or swear. Just as well, the kid had an addictive personality. Hey, give me 500 on New England, old New England is a big-time underdog. Hey, Nino. Hey, Michelangelo. People cut Nino slack because of his father. And when the slack ran out, it was John who looked out for him. And who looked out for everyone was Felix. I mean, how many old-timers are there left to bury, huh? They're all kids moving in the neighborhood. Got these Felix was the owner of the local funeral home which his grandfather founded at the turn of the century. Thanks for coming, boys. But John and Nino working for Felix was more than a job. It was a never-ending party. Free food, drink, and gifts were theirs for the taking. As for me, my deepest regrets. But I've never had this pleasure before. And other more felicitous circumstances. Then, of course, there was my dear, dear friend, Sid Buford. You might be interested. <laughs> Sid, who was as Italian as they come, changed his name from Botafuco after his discharge from the army, where he literally got one of his balls shot off. After that, he was shooting blanks. But not with his paper. Sid was the publisher of the North Square Bugle, a kind of local newspaper that can sometimes make or break a man's reputation. Sid didn't particularly like Nino, and he hated John. But he regarded me like the son he never had. It was a measure of respect and expectation I could never seem to live up to. Especially after I started driving for Raguchis. But hey, I figured a part-time job, a few extra bucks, keep busy. And like I told Sid, how the hell can you get in trouble in the funeral home? I mean, everyone's already dead. Oh. 